All right, guys, this tutorial here is actually going to be on how to make a synth or a pad or anything pulsate inside of Omnisphere. So let's jump right into it. I am in Pro Tools here. So I am going to, well, in main stage, I what I would probably do is, is that I would just make an instrument track and then put it in. Here, I'm just going to do it in here because I'm already in Pro Tools. So I'm going to create this track. I'm going to go to a synth that is a really good kind of do-it-all kind of thing. Most known frequencies, it's a great synth. And we can bring down this, cut off a little bit. Record enable. Cool. So. How we do this is that we are going to, I'm just going to turn off one side of this here. Don't mind that. You can do this to any, um, if it's just like one channel or whatever, because usually there's two parts to these, pet. like a lot of times there's two parts. <coughs> so you can just, I unpanned these so that it's, that one will probably be right up the center. So, but I'm just going to use one part of this to make it faster. What you do is you go into envelopes here, and you're going to edit the amplitude here. And right here, we are actually going to take this. Right here, we are going to right-click on this second dot and go to pulse. And then just... And you have to... And then usually I just bring this back. But you have to set it to loop or else it's not going to do it. So then... And then you can adjust however long you want it to... And then it'll adjust to whatever tempo you set your session to. So in main stage, you can actually set the tempo you can set the tempo for however fast your song is or anything like that. Um, preferably, these like to are best to be used. Um, they're best to be used within a track so that it's in time with your click always because there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot that, you know, you can get off slightly and it just doesn't, it won't, be tight, you know, it, or it won't be together, you could say, um, with the click, so, so yeah, so in Omnisphere, what we're going to do is just, you click a sound, go into it, go into the envelope, go to amplitude, um, on the second dot, so like this one is like the, this first dot here is the attack on it. can also if you do this you can edit how fast it rises so that it kind of like swoops in this one or you can make it to where it's really hard or a lot harsher just a lot of different things there but you have to do um, so pretty much yeah go to amplitude second dot there uh, right click make it pulse you have to click loop and then, you know, just pull it because, you know, it's, it could be, it could go to, uh, you know, different, you could have it to where it pulsates, you know, you can kind of change, I can't remember if you can change this grid value, but you can just kind of edit it however much you want. like that but usually I just make it really really sharp and yeah and that's it how I that might be a little confusing but that is how you make a synth pulsate in Omnisphere